finally back with a new episode of Archives. If you don't know what this is, this is a series where I look through some older photos, maybe share a story or two, uh, just kind of flip through things and see what catches my interest and share some of maybe the older film I shot or the older cameras, different things like that. Today we've got a binder from 2014. These are rolls uh, 123 to 161 of that given year. So um, because of the size of most of these binders, I have them kind of scattered in different ones. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take a flip through this today and uh, just kind of see what we come across. But first I'm gonna take a second to pay some bills and thank my sponsor today, which is Squarespace. If you're a photographer, you need a website and Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform out there. They have tons of different templates to choose from, and they're all super easy to customize to make a great looking website. If you'd like to try Squarespace out, you can sign up for a free trial at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to get signed up, I can save you 10% off your first purchase at squarespace.com slash matt day. So 2014, this is probably late summer, uh, looks like late summer, maybe early fall photos of that year. Yeah, these are early fall. I remember these photos here. These are. Uh, this is a whole roll, actually. Some portraits of my wife, Molly. I remember I was testing out this Leica 50 millimeter F 1.5 Sumerit. A uh, really, really old lens. It actually might have been a, a Leica thread mount lens that I had an, an in-mount adapter on it, but I remember shooting these at a nearby cemetery in front of this old building. And uh, it's a really weird lens. It has a lot of character, a lot of uh, kind of swirl to it. And I didn't have it for that long. Uh, big surprise there. Um, it has a really cool look, but I think a lot of people will either love it or hate it. But um, I just didn't really use it as much of like a, a general purpose 50 millimeter for everything. It was kind of like a, a novelty kind of look, I guess. But yeah, I remember shooting a lot of these photos here. Oh, Witch Fest. I remember this. So this was a metal and hardcore show that my friends put on for Halloween. And I shot all of these with the uh, Voigtlander 28mm Ultron and the Leica SF20 flash on my M6. I was really going for that like wide lens with the flash, like direct flash and uh, slower shutter speeds just to kind of track some of that motion. And there's one in here I still remember to this day. I just have to find it. Yeah, here it is. This is my buddy Ryan in Appalachian Intellect. and. Uh, I always really liked this photo just for the motion in his hair and the stripes on his shirt for the black and white photo. It just, it worked really well. My buddy Keenan and his old band Northern Widows. I remember this was around the time that we found out Molly was pregnant or maybe it was around the time we announced that Molly was pregnant and she was kind of off to the side because it's a pretty rowdy uh, scene there. You know, the uh, at a metal and hardcore show at an old VFW hall. And uh, I remember Keenan getting on the microphone saying, if anyone runs into Molly Day, I'm gonna murder you. So <laughs> he was looking out for her that night. More portraits of Molly and photos around the house. I shot photos of everything around the house and that was before we had kids. Now I'm constantly taking photos of the kids as they're running around, but I just took photos of like the interior of our house. and <laughs> I did it all the time. And I mean, it's, it's cool to have looking back, but at the same time, I'm like, it just, our house doesn't feel anything like that anymore. Now it just feels like there's so much more life in it. I mean, because there literally is, but uh, yeah, I took a lot of photos of nothing. Even some of these photos, I remember I was just trying to get a feel for the Ultron going to a 28 millimeter lens coming from a 35. It's not that big of a difference, but it's still, it, it it's, odd to get used to. And I remember shooting these photos of these branches. Um, I think I just liked the, the two branches I was mainly focused on that were kind of branching out and coming across the frame horizontally, whereas you have all these other trees that are vertical in the frame. And I liked that photo, I remember when I shot it, but at the same time, it's just a photo of some branches. <laughs> There's really nothing there, but for whatever reason, I liked it. And honestly, I still kind of like it. Some more portraits with the Ultron. I shot these with my buddy Galen. Years ago, Galen was my muse, basically. Anytime I needed to shoot some photos, he was always down. And uh, we've both just gotten so busy with things over the years, we don't get a chance to shoot together nearly as much as we used to, but we need to do that. He'll probably come up in a video, uh, hopefully soon, where we're gonna shoot some portraits together because it's it's been a while. Oh, this is really rad. This is uh, one of my best friends, Josh Richter. This was uh, my old apartment. His apartment there. He still lives there, but we used to live there together. And uh, I went over there that night to help him get his darkroom set up in the bathroom and 
took some photos after we turned the lights back on as his print was being washed and uh, shot some photos of him just kind of inspecting it and everything and shot a couple photos of him holding up his first print. Uh, really, really cool thing to see someone dive into a process like that and watch them experience it for the first time because it is like magic the first time you do it. And uh, that's really cool to see. I'm stoked I have these. I'm gonna have to send these to him later. Looks like some more photos of downtown. It's interesting, you know, around this time, I was so focused on shooting our downtown area and just Chillicothe in general. And I did a book on it and I still to this day will shoot photos around town, but back then Chillicothe was such a different place. And uh, we've seen so many small businesses start up and small businesses grow and are really thriving around here. And um, if you walk downtown Chillicothe today, Comparing that to five or six years ago, I mean, it's a night and day difference. And for whatever reason, I don't really shoot the same kind of stuff anymore. I think maybe because I was shooting, uh, you know, whenever it was just bare and deserted and there was nothing happening, um, maybe I was trying to shoot like the potential of what could, what was there. I don't really know, but uh, it's interesting to look back on some of these photos and see that. Uh, I was really drawn to shooting Chillicothe when it was in a much rougher state than what it is now. Whereas now, things look much nicer. I enjoy being downtown a lot more, but I'm not as drawn to like document what's happening downtown. I don't know. It's that's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for archives for today. Just uh, some photos from late 2014. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions about any of these or uh, if you obviously would like to see more episodes of archives because this is probably one of the most requested things I get anytime I ask people what they want to see a lot of people always say bring back another archives episode so uh, yeah I enjoy doing it but you know if you guys enjoy seeing it I'll keep doing it obviously so uh, yeah that's it for today so thank you guys for everything thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time